يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون After the hardships and the correct path, the payoff is big. The sunan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are clear, simple, and basic. No rocket scientist can circumvent them and no power on this earth can halt them. And they don't need a genius to figure them out. They're simple and clear. وَعَدَ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمْ وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ لَيَسْتَخْلِفَنَّهُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ كَمَا اسْتَخْلَفَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ وَلَيُمَكِّنَنَّ لَهُمْ دِينَهُمْ الَّذِي ارْتَضَى لَهُمْ وَلَيُبَدِّلَنَّهُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِ خَوْفِهِمْ أَمْنًا يَعْبُدُونَنِي لَا يُشْرِكُونَ بِشَيْئًا توحيد النو الشرك That's why on the mountain of As-Safa it was La ilaha illallah He called for La ilaha illallah on the mountain of As-Safa He called for La ilaha illallah in Dar al-Arqam Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam In the courtyard of Al-Masjid al-Haram at the doorsteps of the houses, in the alleys of Mecca, years and years of teaching, repeating, reiterating Tawheed in the houses and in the market to individuals and in all gathering to the believers and to the non-believers, to the youth, to the women, to the men, to the children, to the elder. La ilaha illallah. That is how he was able to raise the most successful generation in the shortest time who led the globe with lightning speed. Once they established Tawheed and raised the pure banners and after they liberated their hearts and actions from anything other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they were then worthy of the promised victory from the one who never breaks his promises. The Tawheed that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam left them on before jo joining the highest companion left them on a strong foundation. It taught them who was a murtad and who wasn't. They overcame the challenges with Tawheed, Abu Ubaid, Al-Qasim, Ibn Salam, Ibn Abdullah, in Kitab, Al-Iman, he said pertaining to the matter of Ridda, he said the jihad of Abu Bakr al-Siddiq and the Muhajirin and Ansar radiallahu anhum against the ones who denied giving the zakah was identical to the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam jihad towards the people of shirk. With no difference between them, even if they didn't deny it as a concept of Islam. The only ones if you read history, the only ones who remained on Islam were the people of Mecca, Medina, and Al-Ta'if, and some tribes near those cities. The challenge of the Murtaddin alone was sufficient to crumble the Islamic nation and bring it to ruins had it not been built on strong foundation, the Tawheed that the Messenger وسلم, constructed it on. With knowledge of Tawheed, the Messenger وسلم, that left them on, they were able to know the rulings and status of people and how to deal with them. Not only did they succeed against the Murtaddin, but they went on the offensive. The victories against the Byzantic Empire in Palestine, the victory in Qadisiyah, the conquest of Egypt, the destruction of the Sasanian Empire. They reached Armenia and Georgia. They took down the Byzantic fleet in, Ma'rak, in the battle of Ma'rakat, that is Sawari. That's just a glimpse during the Khulafa al Rashidin who were raised by the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam firsthand on Tawheed. That's what Tawheed forms. A child we raise on Al-Usul, Al-Thalafa, will stand to the biggest of their shayukh and fools. Like those who shamelessly and boldly call a leader of a secularist country a Khalifa. What Tawheed did they learn and understand? What Tawheed does one who considers a leader of a secularist country who violated the most basic, important, essential rules of wala in bara? which is la ilaha illallah and tawheed, and replaces the sharia of Allah, a khalifa. Then someone boldly alleges, oh, they don't know fiqh al-waqa'ah, that's why they can't understand how he's a khalifa. And we say, you don't know what tawheed is. A person who knew tawheed doesn't need the warm, welcoming visit of the head of the Zionist who's massacring Muslims in Palestine to their khalifa. Of course, with the adhan echoing in the background. A muwahid raised on Tawheed looked at the foundation way before and knew the status. Just like a muwahid raised on Tawheed knew the status of the situation in Bilad al-Haramain. 
based on their crumbling foundation way before the concerts and other munkarat became open and public and protected and apparent. What changed the Sahaba from neglected Bedouins in a barren desert to emerge as the leaders of the globe? Look at their lives again and again. Study it, analyze it, read it over and over. Tawheed. Truthfulness on Tawheed irrigated by Wama Baddalu Tabdila. Irrigated by firmness and steadfastness on Tawheed. They liberated their hearts from every vanishing means and dedicated it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even after the Khulafa who were directly raised under the hands of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa There came a time when a Muslim would walk from Tanja in Morocco to Baghdad in Iraq from the shores of the Pacific Ocean to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean needing nothing more than La ilaha illallah as his ID. Anywhere he arrived, he was greeted by people of various colors in different tongues. But La ilaha illallah was the melting pot that united all. Tawheed. Tawheed penetrated the hearts and pumped life into it. Awaman kana maytan fa'ahyaynahu wa ja'alna lahu nooran yamshi bihi fin nas. Tawheed appeared in their action. And that's what gave birth to a different kind of a human beings. With pure Tawheed, they became the leaders and pioneers, putting in practice the most just, most civilized society this earth has ever seen. After being firm on Tawheed, they led the globe in an economic system, in a social system, in a moral system, in a political system, in a military system. Nothing on this earth can compare to it because it came from Al-Alim, Al-Khabir. It came from Allah, Jalla fi ula. Diamonds and pearls and palaces awaiting the man of Tawheed. Virgins and wine never ending time in gardens with rivers beneath.